Hi Capricorn, welcome back in, okay? So this is for month of December, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Let's see what messages come through for you, Capricorn. Reverse the roles, if needed, switch the cases. And this is your reading for December 2022. A leg up, okay? I see some support, though there's something coming your way which is calling for a lot of attention, a lot of hard work, a lot of support, right? Oh, wow. But your destiny is connected. Your destiny is connected to this. Whatever, whatever is coming your way here, your destiny is connected. I'm getting quite positive energy here. The fates. For some of you, I see... I'm picking up that there's some sort of difference in opinion between you and somebody you're dealing with. Your thought is more about making something happen and somebody in around you is more about okay let destiny play its part something on that front we're going to clarify what's that so for some of you i'm got also getting this message that uh, a lot of support from the universe is coming in your way because there is something which is destined okay so <laughs> let's dive in capricorn sun wind rising venus and jupiter let's dive in and see what's happening with you So as you enter the new month, Capricorn, I see some straightforward conversation coming your way. There's some sort can oh wow. That's interesting. For some of you, I see you coming from a place where you're trying to make quite logical decisions about something. You're putting a lot of thought into something. This is surrounding your past. This is soulmate. This is past love. This is the energy of something uh, coming from the past, right? For a lot of you, I see um, you detached yourself from somebody or something. This can be a Gemini Libra Aquarius we're talking about. In past, some logical decisions have been made. But now when somebody reviews the history, when somebody thinks about the past and when somebody goes through the memories, I see a confession. So I do see that uh, there's some clarity in view like I'm picking up that somebody is going through or revisiting history here, revisiting the past, going through some past memories again. And Knight of Cups is showing me a confession, right? Okay, so diving in, moving forward, let's see. Moving forward, let's see. Ten of Cups. Ace of Swords, the death. Okay. As you proceed forward, Capricorn, I'm getting this energy that whatever clarity you're establishing here, for a lot of you, I'm picking up that this is one week, one day energy that's happening very fast for you. Whatever truth, whatever clarity you are giving out to somebody or whatever this energy is, it's definitely leading to some sort of uh, happiness some sort of clarity in a connection and when this truth comes out that's that's taking you to some sort of transformation here wow i'm picking up a lot of downloads here for some of you i see there is somebody who whom you're dealing with is quite logical this person is making very logical and practical decisions but because there is some sort of history attached somebody wants the connection to stay beautiful somebody wants to wants to work the connection out something on that line i'm picking up here but then there is a truth there is something that needs to be clarified for a lot of you i'm getting this message that there is a truth that needs to come out and once this truth comes out a lot of things are going to transform somebody's putting this on destiny okay i'm sorry somebody is definitely putting this whole um thing on destiny and somebody's realizing, for a lot of you, this is you or the one you're dealing with. But one person is realizing that this truth is very important to bring transformation in the situation. Something that has to be based on truth. For a lot of you, I'm getting this energy that, holy, that you want this connection to, to be based on truth and clarity or the other way around. Interesting. Okay, moving forward. Four of Swords. The silence, the silence. In the near future, I see as this transformation starts, because it's going to happen very fast and very soon. 
the moment this truth comes out and the transformation starts taking place you're being advised to take a break and digest for a lot of you it's like adapt to the new normal right digest some things four of swords is showing me that you need to calm yourself down because there's going to be very fast movement forward there's going to be very fast movement forward once this clarity comes out once this truth is revealed right so yeah i see very fast movement forward what else wow beautiful six of wands success forward movement for a lot of you you might be dealing with a virgo individual here hermit i'm getting that somebody um okay there is a mixed emotion here for somebody you're dealing with this person is going through a phase of soul searching they're thinking so much and uh, for a lot of you i'm picking up a very diverse energy for this person it's like very conflicting energy for this person because uh, at one moment they're just thinking thinking and thinking and doing nothing right a lot of soul searching turning in words and not doing anything and then suddenly they make a plan they make a decision and they jump especially when this conversation comes in without thinking too much without thinking about the risks involved in the picture they just jump right interesting very interesting energy we're going to clarify a few more cards here but for a lot of you, I see in the center of this reading with the truth, Ace of Swords, whatever is coming your way, that's going to be a deal breaker. Really, I'm getting that. Whatever this truth is, I see you have some history with this person. And um, and I am feeling that there is some, some confession involved, which is talking about love and partnership. But this truth is important to come out because that's going to make the foundation the base of the whole transformation that's about to start in this connection and you will need some time to process this whole change chat it to the six of wands i see eventual success eventually people will appreciate your decision if you're deciding to move forward move on or bring some changes move forward gracefully people are going to appreciate your decision a lot of eyes are at you i'm also getting this energy right capricorn Okay, so let's see what do you want to say, Queen of Swords. This person is important. This specific person here can be male or female, doesn't matter, whatever the gender is. It's just that somebody is very truthful, honest and straightforward, right? So what is this Queen of Swords energy? Let's see what, what do they want to say. I do see history. I do see past. Somebody is missing you and that's why a confession can come in. Maybe they were holding back for a very long time. Queen of Swords moon yeah they were holding on to some disappointment but now they're making the decision to start afresh that's beautiful somebody has been holding on to some past disappointment and you can call it a grudge but i'm not really getting a grudge energy it's more of a disappointment or a sadness of the past right six of cups but once this person realizes that you have shared a beautiful history with each other i see ten of cups there have been beautiful memories i see somebody is deciding to start afresh yeah, somebody is deciding to uh, look away from the past disappointment. For some of you, this, these can be two different situations. Past situation has been really disappointing and now you're deciding to just look up to the new beginning, new offers, new love and new situations coming your way. Or simply it's the energy of letting go of past disappointment if in a particular connection, if it was there. Deciding to move forward yeah totally makes sense again the confirmation here that somebody is this can be your energy also right so there is a decision to level up embrace the change embrace the new beginning and move on move forward that's going to be the foundation of the big transformation coming your way what's this ten of cups queen of wands for some of you i do pick up there is some influence of the third party see how this third party is looking at the ten of cups there is some influence of the third party you can call it some manipulative oh see it's totally uh the same whatever we picked up in the in the previous deck magician somebody is thinking a lot planning a lot going through a lot of um, thinking process and then they jump and then there's going to be a breakthrough here tower is a big big breakthrough this is for somebody uh, maybe this is queen of fawns energy i'm getting for some of you okay so swords what is this truth i really want to know this what is this truth that's bringing this that's that's making the foundation of this big transformation about to come your way what is this truth six of pentacles the investment ace of swords 
Again, okay. Eight of Cups. For some of you, a truth surrounding the equal give and take in a connection is coming out, right? Eight of Cups to the death is showing me that uh, you need time. You need time to step aside a little, right? You need time to step aside a little and soul search. And for a lot of you, once you get this clarity about how much you have been investing, how much somebody else is thinking of investing, love, work, money, I don't know, but there is some imbalance in the situation. And that truth surrounding that imbalance, this person is definitely telling you something that's leading to a phase of uh, soul searching, right? You need to distance yourself for a moment and soul search. Is it going in the right way or you need to transform this whole, its whole equation, this whole situation? And I do see transformation. Whatever <clears throat> truth is there that's about to come out, that's leading to this transformation. And for a lot of you, I see you will need some time to process. Four of Swords, you will need some time to process. You will need some time to process. See? Justice, yeah. For a lot of you, I see there will be an energy or there will be a feeling in the near future that whatever is happening is justified. That has to happen to maintain a fair balance in this situation, right? That has to be justified. That has to be balanced. And justice is showing me that somebody wants the scales to be balanced here, right? And I think this is you. I'm getting this very strong energy that this is you. In the near future, you might go silent. You might go... Uh, in some sort of soul searching phase or a break phase healing phase because you want the scales to be balanced and you need some time to process this chariot and eventually chariot to the six of wands success is yours once you go through this phase you realize that okay i see some good plan some appreciation from the people in your surroundings where are you heading totally makes sense Wow, Knight of Swords. Now, for some of you, you need to keep in mind that whatever decision you're making, if you're deciding to step aside from a situation, soul search and make the situation more fair and balanced, there is going to be um, some sort of reaction to a decision. Somebody's coming in rash here, Knight of Swords. Somebody might even try to offer you something tangible. Somebody might even try to negotiate, have a conversation, page of pages, our conversation and um page of pentacles is most um likely the energy of talking right talking here okay let's have this let's have this deck what else we can tell capricorn december 2022 what else we can tell capricorn december 2022 three again for a lot of you this talks about the foundation I'm getting this again and again that something surrounding the foundation of a connection or an important situation in your life is changing. Tower totally makes sense. The foundation and the tower. Somebody can, something can definitely, some conversation, some truth is definitely um, shaking the foundation of something here. And see break, anchor and four of swords. This is so much in concurrence. For a lot of you, I'm picking up this energy that uh, whatever this tower moment is, it is going to definitely, for a moment, shoot the foundation of something. And you will feel that I need to stabilize the things, I need to slow down the things, I need to process, I need to think, I need to distance myself for a moment. Because things are happening fast. And I need to question the foundation of this whole situation, whatever is going on, I need to question the foundation. But remember that your fate is connected here, the destiny is connected here. You might need some time to process some things, but eventually it's happening for your good, isn't it? What else? Yeah, there, again, now, this, nothing can be more confirming with, um, than what we are getting here. There is some third influence. There is some third influence which is not healthy for this connection or the situation. You guys need to be careful of a fire sign, possibly. Maybe I, I am getting this energy that somebody is trying to detach, cut it out. But this truth is definitely important, Muir. And you know what? There are loyalties. There are loyalties, there are attachments. But somebody needs to be careful of this um, third energy that's trying to influence this connection. Now, third energy can be anything, you know? Mountain. And again, for a lot of you, Eight of Cups, Mountain. This is distance, this is break, this is uh, some massive, you know? Massive. Mountains are huge. So this can be a massive thing that's in front of you, a huge 
thing that is in front of you. It is also the blockage, the challenge sometimes. But for a lot of you, I see you moving towards the mountain here. And the mountain is showing me that you guys will have to face a big challenge here. And it's only going to be resolved only and only if you face it. You, you confront something. For a lot of you, I do feel that you are a little afraid of confronting something. Or you might feel that I don't know if I will be able to face this or have a face off here or face this situation. But for a lot of you, I am getting this energy that you will eventually have to face it. Because I do see it coming your way. It can be coming in very quick and rush. Capricorn. Blonde female. Little laid back. Mature man. One person is mature, another is little laid back here in this situation. Can be a mature person, but the reality of this connection is a soul connection. It's a very soulful, deep connection. Six of Cups, Knight of Cups. There is love, no doubt. It's a great connection. Somebody's a true gem here, yes. Again, the connection is strong. You, you know what you have to do. You need to be careful of the third party influences and the unhealthy influences in the situation. Eventually, I see fun times. And family, yeah, I, I do pick up third party here. Somebody's trying to influence a very deep soul connection that you need to be careful of, right? So I'm going to leave you here. Capricorn, thank you so much guys for watching. Bye-bye.